if you start going towards the coast, that's when you get on the heroin. At least on the east coast. You go to the west coast, you get the ketamine. Is this uh, when you get promoted to middle management at your Japanese company? You buy a Q45? I don't know if they had these. Or if they did, they were something else. I don't know what this would be in Japan, but uh, got a whole yeah. cigarette full of... Or oh, full yeah. ashtray full of cigarettes there that they left open <laughs> for the pictures. Yeah. So you know that this thing... Uh... It's only for sale to other distinguished gentlemen. <laughs> Now you can really see um, the brown all over these gray seats. If, <laughs> is a child's shoe just stray and lost? <laughs> Sick. These so are called I Nissan buy... Simas in Japan. So we buy this, Simas. and Sima. then all my Japanese middle management dreams will come true. It looks and nice, exterior-wise. Drift missile. Drift missile. Automatic four-speed drift missile. Throw that thing into one. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in low. Apparently, these came with RB25s in Japan. That's a lot cooler. Yeah, wasn't what did they call the Skyline in Japan right now? Isn't it the Q50 or something like that? Is the Skyline in Japan? Because there's no Infinity. Did they diverge the Skyline and GTR into two separate things? Yes. I mean, I remember for a while they were calling the uh, what we got is like the G35s and the G37s the Skyline. So I don't know. Japan is weird. Uh, Q50. Yeah, the Q50 is the Skyline in Japan. Yeah. Okay, so that's the same as the G whatever series. So no, it's, I, it's, I think it's the same thing here. I think it's the Q50 or Q60 here. Yeah, it's here. the Q50 here, but in Japan, it's the Nissan Skyline. Yeah, they, they dropped the G35, G37. Hey, Fee, you were in Japan once, right? Mm-hmm. It is is there true. is there a vehicle that in particular sticks out in your memory? The Toyota Crown. The Crown. Yeah. The Toyota Crown was everywhere, and they had it. It doesn't look that much different from. Show us. Show 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 the nice viewers what that looks like. So at the time they looked sick because there was nothing like this here. Okay. I, that big grill. Yeah, yeah that yeah. gigantic ass grill. But, that's, but ended oh, up being the Lexus grill. Yeah, that's what the Lexuses look like now or, or did. They had this like model year everywhere, I guess. This thing was just everywhere inside any sort of city. This was just infesting every parking lot or parking structure. This is the middle management car of Japan as of seven years oh, ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Everything else was just tiny. It was either this or, like, a Honda Fit. Yeah. Like, K-cars, as you know them, like, that don't necessarily exist there. It's not like, oh, that, like, 90s K-truck and shit. Like, they're K-cars. Like, they're just tiny cars that barely fit two Japanese humans in them. Word. Word. Everybody, everybody takes a train. <laughs> yeah. And that's a mess. Oh, uh, my God. We got did pushed get, in one time. Like, did yeah. you get fondled on your train? I never got I've molested. Seen, I've seen the videos. Yeah, no, I mean that's like my favorite genre. But <laughs> yeah, they um, <laughs> it's like during rush hour and stuff. You've probably seen it. Like they yeah. have designated people to shove you into the cars. This I mean, segment like, is sponsored by Disney Plus. Yeah, Disney, powered by not these and friend of the pod. They have these like. Who's trying to shove themselves well, in like, so yeah, like, hold themselves there and then yeah there's just people that this looks like hell yeah it is it is they just shoving as hard look as how they many can. people it takes to do this though like they must stab <laughs> hundreds of these pushers every door 1992 240 sx se coupe with 250,000 miles of manual transmission exterior is tan and green it's just sun faded it'll be just fine <laughs> dude it's sold there's no way this guy just Probably seven Three grand weeks ago. Shell. What is going on here? Clean one owner car, 200,000 daily driver miles, but it did sit for three years. Clean interior, pictures say otherwise. Uh -huh. Is this uh, what clean means? Minor dings, trans good, motor idles, but bogs down when moving it around. <laughs> so it's a $7,000 shell. Yeah. That's why it's still for sale. Eh, some kid will buy it. Uh, I hate to say it, but it still looks like kind of a good deal. Uh, I mean, you're going to rip the seats out and put 
you're going to rip the seats. It, it, this kind of car, you're going to rip the seats out. You're going to put bucket seats in it, and then you're going to drift it into a wall. All this, yeah, and also all of the faded bodywork and stuff doesn't matter when you're just going to slap an origin kit on there or whatever anyway. Bingo. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to have a white origin kit. You might find like a, everything like a else bag of meth under the seats, too. That could be sick. What the f***? That's a trike of some sort. It's clearly a Chevrolet Classic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that looks hilarious. Oh, so, that looks terrifying. Ooh. When do you die after you buy that? Vukos, you would die in this. This is this is what you would die in. He calls it an Ed Roth tribute. It has a Corvair I, engine in the back under the seat. You don't die in it, you die once you leave it at any rate of speed. Frame and engine, 1962 Corvair. The back half of this actually is a Corvair, apparently. That's... Or the back six inches glass. of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, look at that thing. Wow. That, that is what? just terrifying. That's pretty sick, honestly. I mean, it's sick, don't get me wrong, but dear lord, I would not want to be on or near that thing in operation. Well, like, your feet rest on the pedals? Wait, does it have a gas pedal? Yeah. Hold up. No well, way. That, those, no. That's gotta be like a foot rest, right? It cannot they possibly have a... Be. a a gas pedal and a brake pedal those, down there. No, because there's no linkage. One of those has got to be... No, there's no linkage. No, there is linkage. There oh is my linkage. God. So one of those has got to be a clutch. Yeah. Or an upshift or a downshift. Push forward for gas, sense. pull backwards for brake. That would oh, make sense. Is one, one is probably upshift, one is probably downshift. <laughs> like your left foot's up and your right foot's down. And it seats three. <laughs> Imagine yeah. riding this thing with two people sitting on the back of it. <laughs> Where my bitch is gonna go, man. Pretty cool. Out of ten, would die on. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent would die on. Oh, hold on, my cat's being a. F Give me a second. <laughs> Nick your ass, cat. What is, what's everybody drinking? Thirty-seven PBRs. Do you ever drink to enjoy what you're drinking, or you just drink? To <laughs> yeah, get... yeah, yeah, yeah. I had some Oktoberfest earlier, so like. Numb the pain. Is, I had some Oktoberfest earlier, and now this is the quantity this is his, beer. This is his podcast beer. No, 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 you have to have quantity beer, right? I like, hate this show. Give me my. 30 the, back. <laughs> the beer that you drink in quantity that you're not going to get like absolutely trashed on. 2003 Lexus IS 300 Sport Cross Hatchback Four Door. $5,600. I can't say I've ever seen one of these in person. I don't know if I have either. I've, I've seen a lot of cars, but I can't say I've ever seen an IS Sport Back. Sport I saw Cross. one yesterday. Really? Yeah. They're pretty rare. They are pretty rare. Uh, they only came in automatic, which was sad. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, they're, they are nice, and I honestly, if I was going to get an IS300, this is probably what I would get, just for the practicality, and because they only came in autos, they kind of avoided the whole plague of rice, so yeah, they're, they are a very solid daily. The six-speed IS300 is already insanely rare, and then finding one that hasn't been completely destroyed is near impossible. Are those rear lights stock? Yeah, yeah. The, okay, yeah. so the IS3, I think we talked about this oh, before. Yeah, about we the, did, uh, yeah, you yeah. should, you should watch remember. the podcast. Uh, we I definitely remember. talked about this. Let, let me uh, just uh, do a little refresher for anyone who is not aware of this. The IS300 is the Toyota Altezza. It is the originator of Altezza-style taillights. That's why every car in the 2000s had aftermarket tails that looked like this. History. Yeah. Thanks for coming to our TED Talk. Here's a piece of shit. Hawkeye. The worst one of that generation. Don't even. Yep. Agreed. Bro. I I will uh, fight you. Blah bye. Blah bye for life. I like them all, really, but man, that bug guy. That's the one. Bug guy. God, how can you bug be so every day. wrong? I watched something can... the other day that told me that for a while Subaru was planning on making all of their cars look like this in the front with this like three hole grill thing, and then they just kind of gave up on it after doing the to the WRX. Good. 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 <laughs> yeah. Nothing God. of value was lost. Yeah. Like, At least how it's not can the you be so right. right about so many things, and then you get to this, and you're just absolutely wrong. I mean, like, from this angle, it looks great. Opinion. If you from this pulled, angle, it looks great. If you pulled the people, they would say the bug eye is the best. If you pulled the people, they'd all say the Hawkeye is the best. Yeah. yeah. I don't mind it. I do think this looks good. Yeah, it looks fine. It just looks like a uh, I don't know. It looks like a today car. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like angry like in the way 2020 cars are all angry. Yeah, that's why I like the bug eye. It's like it's it's weird. It's it's a little quirky. It's got a little quirky feature going on. Scholar saying blah bye is best, but well, I just feel well, like Subaru's design language has just 
steadily gotten less and less crazy and obnoxious, which is what I loved about them since really this car. They're just becoming more and more like appliances. Well, now it looks like a Civic, am I right? The new one looks like a hunk of f We could talk about the new pull, W. Pull that up. Pull pull that up. up. Why are you going to YouTube? Go to Subaru's website. You probably can't spell Subaru, let's be honest. L-E-S-B. Here's what I at least think about this, is they realized that people really like the cross trek and the ascent and shit like that. And they were like, well, I want it in a manual with a turbo. And then they were like, all right, well, here's this WRX that now kind of looks like a cross trek. What if I just wanted a WRX? What if you wanted a uh, high trim one of these that didn't have a CVT? I think Civic That's... from the back, I swear. Look at that. It does look yeah. like a Civic from the back. And the, the taillights really do, yeah. It's just, it's boring. Yes. Yeah, that looks that looks I mean, like a Civic. And just imagine, all right? Well, you're, Civic. You're, yeah. you're walking out of the airport. Like, you would not look twice at this car. You'd be like, God, what, right. what, what else can I get in the Hertz rental lane here? Because right. I don't want this Econo box piece of shit. It looks forgettable, yeah. That's why the bug guy was the best. God, you just you ever just look at something Based. and just Based. not this. You just this, you this look at just... this and you just you ever look at something and just kind of like do the um, like the Italian you know what, chef you know what like this kissing. Needs? <laughs> yes. You know what this needs Atlas that would make it? It would be the uh, the fake eyelashes over the bug eyes. <laughs> go, to the the blob eye. go to the blob eye. Go to the blob STI. Mm. Or STD or whatever. I'd say blob eye is a good second. Yeah, I second like the blob eye too. Look oh, at that. Yeah, yeah blob eye is a good second. Blob eye is the second. Like, mm. there we, can all, we can all agree this is second place. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. I prefer this one, but they're both good. I like all of them. All three yeah. of them are great. Yeah, Just, we're arguing about. I have about a personal like, preference about that bug yeah. eye. One is an eight and a half. One is a nine. They're both fantastic. Yeah. And the new one is about a. Three. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it doesn't even register. It's just a car, you know. All right, so this part of the show, we do the cars and bids, dug and bids roundup of shit that was posted on the site. You know, actually, since the last time, there hasn't been a lot of like shit tier stuff posted. Yeah, I've been trying. Like, if I look at the if I look at shit for prices wrong, I try not to do shit we've done before. Here's the thing that I looked at with this one is that like this looks very stock, but like. There's a pretty decent sized mod list on it. I can see some some things here already that are you, you could you could you could if you knew what you were looking for, right? But like if you just kinda looked at it, you're like, ah, oh, this is a mostly stock looking three hundred ZX. But then like you look at the list of mods and you're like, Alright, alright, I get it. Is that called OEM plus? Yeah. But it's yeah. it's also a little banged up here. Um Yeah. So that price doesn't really seem that crazy. Eighty five hundred no. bucks. This is a driver car for sure. Like, yeah. you're driving the shit out of this thing. But, like, they put a decent amount of engine and supporting mods into it to be like, all right, this thing's got a little bit of get up and go. I think I've given this thing a buff. Yeah, like, maybe a quick little paint job and a buff and... A little PDR. Oh, oh no, 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 no. that's not and that's not. But that's not terrible, right? For that's a, not good. What? Yeah. For what? A, was this a 94? Yeah, for a 20-some-year-old car. Yeah. This isn't yeah. terrible. 25, 26. I'm seeing why this didn't go for over 10 grand now, though. Don't look too closely. No, also, no. the, the no. tires are mismatched. It's got Zenus, and then it's got ZXs. He probably Here can't get the right sizes to match. Uh, the interior's been redone. Yeah, the interior was reupholstered, which, like, mint. Yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah. Look at the rest of it though. Like there's just, like shit stains everywhere and dash isn't cracked. Though. Oh, I was thinking that was the uh what is it, the the cloth the material bullshit. Oh, that's yeah. just faded plastic, isn't it? Those seats look sick though. Hold on, I have to I have to give Nick a mute really <laughs> The reupholstery job looks good, but everything else looks just kinda of beat. The carpet's all stained up, the outside looks pretty trashed honestly i think it's sold for the right price right i definitely i agree i think it looks maintained and i think definitely think it's a driver car mm -hmm. like i think this is a good price to get it for somebody who's going to drive the shit out of it or you could potentially dump what do you think three grand into it and probably double your money is that boot leaking right there? It does look like it's leaking yeah i just noticed that i think you could put a little bit of money in this and and make out at the end of the day because I, I kind of disagree just because it has some pretty noticeable rust and, you know, maybe it's just in a couple little spots, but 
Yeah, fixing body work like that is not cheap. It's got real JDM air though, that's pretty sick. JDM air, hell yeah. Hit the like button, drop a comment if you aren't a bitch, and subscribe if you're a real one. Collector car feed, now with over 400 subscribers.